All right, so well, on this problem, what we need to do is, um, ready? No. Um, for this problem, what we need to do is we need to write down the standard form, okay? And so to write the standard form, it's going to go back through the exact same thing I've been going over and over and over again with you. We just need to determine, first of all, if we're talking about a vertical or we're talking about a horizontal parabola. Is it going to open up or down or left or right? Well, the one thing they did tell us actually is the vertex is zero, zero. I've got to add that in for the problem, right? And the directions that say the vertex is zero, zero, okay? So it says it has a horizontal axis of symmetry. So if I was going to draw a coordinate grid and I know my axis of symmetry is a horizontal line, what that means is that's what's going to split my parabola, right? Because that's your axis of symmetry. When you guys first, you know, have a parabola, the axis of symmetry is the line that your parabola is symmetrical about. Well, that's a vertical line, and that's a horizontal line. So I don't know which way my graph opens up, though. It either opens up to the left or opens up to the right. We're going to use this information to help us just figure that out. All right? So we have this. Can you have a parabola like this? Get to I was like, Don't worry, we'll get to this. Oh, why do you erase that? That's what we're doing right now. Not with the rotation or the um, special things. We're just going to deal with the vertical and the horizontal right now. Oh. So horizontal axis go through a point, vertex is zero, zero. So I determined that it was a horizontal parabola, right? Yeah. So now we need to use the horizontal equation, which is y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h. All right. Remember a couple things. The vertex is h comma k, which in this problem was 0, 0. So what I'm going to simply do, Courtney, is I'm going to plug in 0 and 0 for h and k. Does that make sense? Just yeah. Here's our formula, right? We've, the next step I said, um, you know, we first determine if it's horizontal or vertical, then write it in the standard form. We wrote the form. So now let's just plug in all the information we can. So I'll write in y equals 0 squared equals 4p x minus 2. All right. Well, obviously, that's going to reduce this now to y squared equals 4p times x. Now, the next thing, the only other information it gives us is it goes to the point 4, 6. So how can I use that information? Remember, a given point on a line, a parabola, a circle, whatever, has an x and your y coordinate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that x and my y and to plug them into my graph. So therefore, I have 6 squared equals 4 times p times uh, 4. Okay, so I plug now in my point. So now you guys can see what I have is a missing a variable that I have to can figure out, which is which is um, p. So what I'll do is I'll get 36 equals 16p divided by 16. All right, and let's see, we got um, four goes in the top nine, so nine fourths. So we can say p equals nine fourths. Good job. All right, it's not over yet. But what we notice is since our vertex is 0, 0, we don't need to plug it in. So now all I'm looking at is here's my problem, right? I don't have a vertex, so I'm just going to leave it like that. So now what I'll do is I'll just plug in my point for P, which is 9 fourths. So I have Y squared equals 4 times 9 fourths X. Well, what happens to these fours? Those cancel out. So my standard form of my problem just becomes y squared equals 9x, all right? And it's not minus anything because those are zero, so, you know, that's... That's all we have to do? That's all you have to do. Oh, that's easy. Okay. Oh, so you don't have to graph it? That's why I asked you because I graphed it. I don't believe the direction. For at least for this one, we're just going to work on standard form. 